Good evening. In just a matter of hours, the COVID-19 situation changed dramatically in South Dakota. Here's what Governor Christy Nome said yesterday afternoon. Uh, the testing supplies have not been an issue for us, and uh, we're thankful that uh, people are making good decisions about their health. But today, the state no longer has the supplies needed to get test results. The latest report from the South Dakota Health Department shows no new cases, but the number of pending cases has jumped from 35 to 350 in just one day. Keller and Sydney Thorson kicks off our team coverage with the latest from the governor's news conference today in Rapid City with Monument Health officials. COVID-19 test results are on hold in South Dakota. We have a shortage on the reagents and the enzymes that are utilized to process the tests at the state public health lab. Uh, we're working on several different suppliers and uh, to get that into the state health lab, hopefully within hours. People who are showing symptoms of COVID-19 have been traveling or are in contact with someone who tested positive should still call their doctor. Get tested. They will send the sample into Peer, and uh, we will we will be processing and running those tests 24/7 as soon as we get resupplied with the reagents that we need. A new service people can take advantage of in Rapid City is the drive-through sample collection. We are well prepared. We have a, a large health system in our community in our region. We've implemented some new services recently for those individuals in our communities that have concerns about COVID-19. School will be closed for the rest of this week and all next week. Several businesses began working from home to slow the spread of the disease. We're using CDC guidelines on community response and decisions that we're making. Uh, and we have in some instances uh, been even more cautious. We'll continue to do that. And as soon as those tests give us more indications, uh, we'll certainly take action too. But patients may have to wait a few days to get their results. The state isn't sure when testing supplies will arrive. In Rapid City, Sydney Thorson, Kelloland News. And Kelloland News continues to ask the State Department of Health for more details on the 11 people who have tested positive for the virus. The agency tells us that other states are giving out more information on people who have the virus because it's, quote, community spread in those states. The department says that's not the case in South Dakota because everyone who has tested positive has traveled outside of the state. We do, know, we do know that one of the patients in Minnehaha County had returned from California. Also, the health department says none of the current patients are hospitalized. The man who died was in his 60s and had also traveled. He was from Rapid City, but was in Mitchell when he died.